Hello everyone, this video is going to be in the theme of the full moon. It is going to be a general reading for a divine masculine of this twin flame collective, this specific collective that I read for. So if the messages aren't resonating, then this reading is not for you. If you want a personal reading just for your energy, my information is below. Now, um, I'm going to get right into it. I already pre-shuffled, so I'm just going to give a quick shuffle on camera. This is going to be in the theme of the full moon, meaning secrets being revealed, because I already was told several secrets by people, found out things, um, clients came to me and told me they found certain things out. Also, with the Mercury Retrograde, people already came to me. They got contact. So, with the Mercury Retrograde being in Scorpio and this full moon in Taurus, you know, this is why the energy seems to be intensified at this point. Before, it was kind of calm, you know, but the full moon is kicking everything up, kicking all the feelings. So, let's see. Uh, what doesn't the Divine Masculine want you to know divine fact let's see this might trigger people so remember this is a general reading so just because i'm saying it doesn't mean it's for you wow so the divine masculine doesn't want you to know because of their ego that they've been through a battle. Um, the Divine Masculine is trying to put up this front like everything's dandy in their world. Uh, you might see them on social media smiling. This is not the case. Eternally, they really went through something and they had to use all their determination to get through this battle with the Nine of Wands. This is someone that really had a lot of chaos going on. Um, had to literally, some of them, go to court. Okay, this is something that they don't want you to know. They don't want you to look at them as weak. They don't want to hear, oh, I told you so. They don't want to hear, oh, I told you, stay away from that person. So this is like what they don't want you to know, Divine Femme, because they don't want to hear that, like, I told you so thing come out your mouth. So when they do come to you, um, I know it's really hard not to say that, but if you don't want them to run away, try. Try really hard not to. Um, I guess maybe you could say it in a funny way, but I don't know. Because they have ego problems, the Divine Masculine, and it's just, you know, their ego's hurt right now, so they don't want you to know that. Wow, so they don't want you to know that they want a second chance with you. Um, they're trying to put up a front that they don't care because they don't want to look weak. They don't want to um, be the ones being vulnerable. So when they come to you, if they talk to you coldly, if they come off like arrogantly, it's because they don't want you to know that they want this second chance, okay? So the judgment card is a card that comes up as like a revival of something that died. Um, for this collective, I feel like the relationship completely ended. It was like stabbed with multiple swords of betrayal. So this Divine Masculine doesn't want you to know just how much they want you back because they still want some power. They don't want you to know that um, they were waiting on something. So with the Seven of Pentacles, this talks about divine timing. So if you haven't heard from your divine masculine, it's because you're waiting on something. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like some divine masculine, they're waiting on money. They're waiting on being able to offer you 
um, materialistic things and they don't want you to know that like they don't want you to know that they were waiting to come to you because they're waiting you know on money some of them they're waiting they don't want you to know that they are moving okay so the divine masculine some of them in this group they're literally moving from where they were because they were entangled in karmic situations and they don't want you to know that divine from they don't want you to know just how much um they went through because it's like they literally left you and thought the grass was going to be greener greener came and talk and they ended up in a nasty karmic situation well they're moving and they don't want you to know that they um are now having to move because of not listening to you because i feel like for this collective many of you warned the divine masculine you know i feel like you warned them that they were making the wrong choice okay oh what did i say so with the eight of pentacles in reverse they don't want you to know that they might be having job problems they might be having financial problems like i literally just said um they don't want you to know that they are going through like hardships because of their ego also they don't want you to know um that they plan on contacting you because this has to do with ego so you're gonna get contact from them okay um literally third party situation so they're being very sneaky about this contact um so it's like they don't want you to know but they don't want anybody else to know i know it sounds crazy but yeah so they really don't want you to know that they're planning on this contact because of the third party situation um they're going to come forward to you like really quickly, really fast. And they don't want you to know that they're literally running away from something um, third party that caused this dissension between you two. They don't want you to know that when they come to you, it's because, you know, their third party situation blew up in their face. They don't want you to know um, because they are coming to you because they care about you. They're not coming to you just because something didn't work out. Because let's face reality, Divine Femme. The Divine Masculine, if they want to be with somebody else, they won't come to you, you know. They will end up in another karmic situation, okay? But this is why they don't want you to know exactly what went on because they're coming to you you're not going to expect it and they don't want you to think that they're coming to you because of this third party situation this breakup that is going on between them um a lot of you are wondering about karmic situations well here is a message for you uh those that are were in karmic situations it's not working out uh breakups are happening and yeah, the divine masculine is walking away completely from that situation. But they don't want you to know um, because they're embarrassed, okay? They're embarrassed. So they really have an ego problem, like I said. Um, they need to get out of that ego problem. Their ego basically was killed in this past couple of months. If you watch my other videos, they had to humble themselves. So, even though, you know, their ego was killed, basically, they still do have a bit of an ego where they don't want the Divine Femme to know exactly what happened. And they, their biggest fear, Divine Femme, they don't want you to think, like, they're just coming to you, like, sloppy seconds, you know? I keep it real. They don't want you to think, like, oh, now they're coming to me. You know, they don't want you to know that. So let's see, overall message, what is the biggest thing that the Divine Masculine is hiding from the Divine Femme? Wow, bottom of the deck, separation. So literally, like I said, they don't want you to know that they are no longer with the third party. I know it sounds crazy. I know it makes no sense, but they don't want you to know about this heartbreak. They don't want you to know that they were literally betrayed and they found out about a betrayal. They're hiding this third party um, information from you, chills, divine femme, for some reason. And I really feel like it's a big reason of, you, you know, ego of saying, I told you so. <laughs> 
that's the last thing the divine masculine wants to hear all right so with this moon going on let's see let's just look at my queen of moon oracle card So I'm happy for all those that participated in my last special a week ago, uh, the two for 20 special, my email reading. I'm happy you all enjoyed. Uh, do not email me regarding specials. If I am having a special, I will announce it in a video or I will post it in my community tab. I get a lot of emails every day and I'm just trying to keep the email clutter down so if you want a personal reading please email me but if you are just like asking me random questions just know that I have thousands of viewers so you're like not the only one emailing me um yeah and I'm only one person and I have two other jobs besides doing my readings so it's hard to answer these like emails about other things so with that being said yeah wow so the divine masculine here he is all right the divine masculine doesn't want you to know about this release again it's coming out separation breakup this is the biggest thing, chills, on the Divine Masculine's mind. They don't want you to know that they made a wrong decision, perhaps with a pregnant karmic, all right? Some of them found out something over the full moon, uh, literally. Um, they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know that they're lacking faith because they made wrong decision, discernment, okay? They don't want you to know that they made a wrong decision. This even came out in my moon cards. Like, you cannot make that up. How many times? Separation, three of swords, release. The divine masculine, and there he is. Like, he literally came out in the cards. You see all these cards, like, out of all the cards. So if that's not a message, I don't know what is. Um, yeah, divine femme. So the divine masculine is hiding this um, because they're embarrassed, basically. And this is the biggest blockage actually coming forward to divine femme. So if you're wondering, why haven't I heard from my divine masculine? Why are they playing these stupid phone games? Why are they doing all this fake contacts? Why are they, because I have been contacted by many about fake calls. Um, yeah. So many divine femmes are all dealing with the same thing. It's because they really have to build up their confidence level with coming to you, okay? And saying that, you know, I messed up, all right? I should have listened to you. I was wrong, okay? It really should not be hard. Divine masculine, if you're listening, just say I'm sorry. Your divine femme love you, okay? So yeah, they're in their masculine energy and um, they're taking charge, okay? But they're having a hard time because they don't want you to know all the bad decisions they make. You know, typical masculine energy. If you're dealing with a female, you know, a woman that has masculine energy, they're encompassing this energy anyways. So they don't want you to know all the mistakes they made. They don't want you to know they're a little mess so they're trying to clean it up because um when they come to you i just feel like they're really not going to want to talk about it uh if they bring something up talk about it of course you have to talk about what separated you but you know say it once and let it go because they feel really stupid if that makes you feel better they feel horrible they're disappointed they feel they feel bad and they feel like a lot of them are depressed. Um, yeah, a lot of them are depressed. So, <sighs> hope you enjoyed this video. And I will be posting another video soon. Bye.